that I'm gonna do today. It is a super easy, fast, everyday, neutral makeup look that you can wear, that no one's gonna be like, whoa, girl, you have so much makeup on, and it's super easy. It's my everyday go-to. All the products that I'm using are from the drugstore. Nothing is really over eight bucks. Um, so yeah, we can all do this. Um, I'll put the names of the products in the link below, and there will be some other information on my other video on some of these palettes that I did purchase from Profusion that are really inexpensive so if you guys want to get a very natural look for older mature skin i am over 40 and i am rocking this out and it feels really natural and not too heavy on me i didn't wear foundation so if you do like this and you want to see how it's done stay tuned okay guys here we go no makeup at all just woke up from a nap took a quick shower i'm totally exhausted today so I mean, I just want to say amazing for all you YouTubers who get out there with no makeup, and especially for me in my 40s. That's a round of applause, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's me with no makeup. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is I just want to do the super fastest, quickest get out of the house makeup, kind of like an everyday look where you don't want to look too made up, but you got to have something going on for you. So I'm going to start with... Um, a daily protection moisturizer with SPF in it because of 30 because as a mom I have melasma and that happened from going out into the Sun when I was a pregnant so obviously I do not need any more of that action happening so I'm just gonna put that all over and I don't want to do a full I'll actually get your whole neck I don't want to do foundation today because that's just too much. So I'm gonna start with my Conceal Palette from Profusion. I'll put a link. Well, actually, it'll be right up here. I'll put that little I button. We'll just click on that and that'll show you the link. I'm just gonna be using this. So there's quite a few colors here and I'm gonna go ahead in with the green and the orange to get rid of some of those marks. So I have some acne and some red right around here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get in there on that, those red bits. I don't want those showing up at all and then with the orange which also kind of gets rid of the melasma discolorization Ooh. I'm gonna go ahead and just start hitting those spots and for me they're all around the mouth um, I also have what is that oh, that's just my hair on my cheeks. I shall never forget that day that I went out to the park when I was like pregnant, six months pregnant. It was super hot that day. And there was a symphony in the park and I was watching it. And when I came home, I had this melasma all, I mean, these spots on my face around my mustache area and up around here. And they never went away. And my daughter is old and no matter what I've tried, they never went away from that trusty day in the park. Okay, so I'm just going to do some real basic coverage. I'm not going to do a lot of more coverage there, but I am going to work on those eyes. So I'm going to go with that orange again, right under there. And then I'm going to start using the yellow. And I'm just going to use my finger, no need to get all crazy. And I'm going to start like just going in and doing kind of like an intense highlight. And as, as you can tell, like people look really different without their brows. <laughs> That's an understatement. I love brows. I think they are everything. So I hope you guys do brows. So now I've, you can see I've really, really lightened up my face a lot. And already I'm feeling better. I was born with some natural bags and um, it's just like how I was born. And you got to be cool with that. Some people are born with like actually really light underneath their eyes and some are born with darker, so whatever. I always like to lighten it up. Then I'm gonna use this other light color right here. I'm just gonna go right over the lids and I'm using the same finger, I like that middle finger. I'm just gonna go over the lid right here, other side. Cause I, and only in the um, first half of the eyelid I'm going to lighten because I'm going to do a shadow in the second half, so no bother there. I really like to lighten this area up in here. Okay, so. All right, 
we've done with that. And so let's get on to the next really most important thing in my life, which I was just talking about, which is brows. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Dark Brown by Jordana Easy Brow, which I love. This is just amazing. I don't use this little brushy brush, but, um, you know, go for it if you want. Um, just going to go in and because this is an everyday makeup, I'm not going to do anything crazy. I'm just going to carve out, bring it down because it has been years of over pluckage, over tweezing. So I'll just go in and draw. If you mess up, it's not a big deal because you can just use your finger. And again, this is just every day. We're not trying to be fancy, we're just trying to get out the house. I'm kind of excited today because I just watched the iHeart um, Music Radio Awards and it was like so amazing when Taylor Swift and Madonna like performed together. I was like, yes! That was like just my generation and my daughter's generation like coming together as one. I was just, man, I could watch. If you guys haven't like watched that video, check that out because Madonna is like rocking it hard. That's my girl and she's like 50, 56. So anyway, that's pretty incredible. Come on, let's see what you're doing at 56. All right, anyway, now I'm gonna go ahead and start contouring a little bit. I'm gonna use my Capricorn uh, Wet n Wild, which I've been using for, gosh, 20 years. All of their bronzers. This is called Ticket to Brazil. I'm gonna use a Real Techniques brush. I love these. Please go out. They sell them at Walgreens now. The Pixie Woo Girls, the Real Techniques. I love you girls. You're the best. Uh, one of my first YouTubers that I was watching and these brushes are like amazed. So I'm gonna go out and start carving in. And if you don't know the number three, you go the number three. Let me do that again for you. Start up here, come under and down. I like to go under the cheek. I'm just adding some dimension back into my face because if not, I would look really flat. So here we go. Now the face is starting to come around, starting to get somewhere. And I'm going to go right on the sides of my nose a little bit, actually all over the nose because I'm going to go back in. But again, we just want to get something real fast. So to me, I'm already feeling like happy. I'm like, okay, I'm alive. I can do this. I can face the world now. And that took like nothing. And that was just like the basic steps that I do that you guys can do. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is go in with this really, uh, these elf brushes. I talked about them before. I love them. They're $1 and I love, they've got a little point. They're just perfect for shadow. You can use any dark brown shadow. Um, I'm actually using like the Wet n Wild eyebrow. Um, palette, but I like it for the dark. It's got two kinds of browns, like a medium and a dark brown, and I love it. So I'm just going to put the color onto the brush, the dark brown, and I'm just going to focus right on the outer corner of my eye and just pat that color in and then kind of with the point, bring it up around here and probably going to need to blend this out and I don't think I brought a blender. Okay, but something really basic, just again, I'm just patting the color onto the corner, outer, three-fourths of the lid and the reason for that is because if you've got older eyes and older skin on your eyelids then you don't want to you're not you don't have the space to get in there and do all this detailed work because your skin is you know it's getting the uh, it's getting up there no need to fret just be more gentle and this is kind of like my trick for like a heavy I don't have hooded eyelids but I definitely have a heavy eyelid and as I age that eyelid gets heavier but that's okay Gotta be proud of where you're going. Can't look at the past. You can only look at the future. Now clean that up if it's getting a little crazy, okay? So last time I think I did this with black and I did blend it out. So I'm just patting with the tip right under here where you would draw a crease because I have a mature eyelid. A mature eyelid, I love calling it that, but it is. And these lines, ladies, I earned them. Trust me, I earned them. So I love them. Mm, I love them. All right, so how are we doing? Okay, eyes are done. If I had a blending brush, I would probably blend this out a little bit because I don't like any harsh lines ever. But I would have to stop the video and do a blending, a blend out. Okay, so there we go. 
But you guys get what I mean. Oh, I forgot to put my, I always do this. I put like a, this is a Hurrah um, lip balm. You can use anything, chapstick, Carmex, I don't care. Vaseline is my best friend. I have a big tub of Vaseline next to my vanity. I use it all the time, but today, okay. We're done with that. We're gonna go into the contour palette, which I guess I could have used for a bronzer. This is a Profusion contour palette, Profusion. And this is, I love these palettes. Man, do I love these palettes. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead. Oh, you know what? I don't have any blush. I don't have any blush, so forgive me, hold on. Okay guys, I couldn't resist. I had to get a little fluffy uh, brush. I think this is Spice. Gosh, she was this by Soho. It's got the ergonomic handle, and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out because, like, like I said, I don't like any harsh lines. And when I was over there in my vanity, I picked up a couple more things because I wanted to. They're, they're really things that I'm not gonna skip out on. Um, this Wet n Wild powder, it's almost gone, it's by Fergie. And um, it's just like a setting powder to get rid of the, it's kind of like a copy of the High Def powder. And I kind of like it. I like it, obviously. I've used it all up. That's just to get some of this shine off here. I don't want any shine here. And just to, right under the eyes, I want to set that concealer because that's what I really want to stay all day. Okay, so we did a little. Okay, I have this blush palette. I bought it. Ooh, I don't like that shadow. Sorry, that brightness. I bought it at the 99 cent store. It was $1.99. It's called Amuse, A-M-U-S-E. These colors are so cute. I think there is... A website that you can order these on and I'm just gonna use one of these kind of lighter colors for some blush just to hit it up the top points of the cheeks and well I really do enjoy makeup and people who are like it's shallow it's stupid you know I love it and if you're an artist I grew up drawing and painting and it's exactly the same thing and it's really to me it's very meditative and if you don't do makeup and you you might not understand but if you sit with yourself it's a time that you can just really think and enjoy and I just love it anyway so I'm gonna go in with a highlighter I like this highlight color here because I'm olive skin and it comes with this cute little fan brush so I'm gonna go ahead and put that product on just highlight what's highlighting I'm just gonna add some shine shine on the top of my cheeks shine on my cupid's bow which is this area right here and i'm going to go directly down the tip of my nose just to bring a highlight right to that area okay and sometimes i like to go down here and right above and if you want you can get crazy and get a little bit on your collarbone i know this is just because i said it was just going to be a quickie to go out but these types of things are really fun and they can make a big difference in the look of your face Okay, so that's done. And then I'm gonna use this really, really, really light color. The champagne color, I'm gonna put it on my finger and I'm just gonna go right into the tear duct area just to brighten that area up because um, like I told you, I was napping. I was like completely exhausted. And uh, <coughs> I usually get out of the house. I was like watching Madonna and Taylor Swift like over and over again because it was like the Kids' Choice Awards with Nick Jonas, which, <sighs> okay, don't even get me singing jealous because I will and I'll sing chains got me in chain okay forget it I still get jealous okay I can go I mean that man whoo he uh, really grew up didn't he now he really grew up okay you know what I'm doing right now we're doing the best lash extreme by Jordana my favorite drugstore mascara ever three dollars and 99 cent let's get that going quickly on the upper lids so I'm gonna go fast Okay, sometimes you guys, I add in an individual lash. I'm super obsessed and loving that right now, but uh, yeah, I'm not doing it today because we're just doing something really basic and easy. Every day, quick. And you guys are like, um, this is kind of taking a long time for an every day. And it's probably like, you're like, uh, I never use this much makeup, but trust me, like these little things that I'm doing, like make all the difference. You guys, you guys saw how I was looking at the beginning of this video. That's, I mean, enough said. Okay, so for my lower lashes, I like to use a different mascara, this Rimmel mascara. And the reason that I, um, 
this is it. I don't even know what it's called, Glam Lash or something. But the reason is um, it's got this kind of brush. So any kind of brush that you have that's like that, um, because it doesn't have a lot of bristles and it's not gonna go in and mess up your lower lashes and put too much product on the lower lash and then they'll be like dripping. But if you're gonna do the top lash, do the bottom lash or else I feel it looks kind of uneven. Seriously, when I was um, in my 20s, I never, or maybe even in my 30s, I never used anything on my bottom lash. Okay, so there we go. If I had a little bit more time, I would contour my nose a little bit just to get a little bit more shadow with that. And I will do a video on that because um, for a contour, a really cheap alternative for a contour um, is the NYX in taupe. And this is like $5. And you know, if you're gonna buy some of the more expensive contouring kits and colors are really, really expensive, and that color's great. You can also use a gray. And I don't wanna to get too much into contouring because that's not what this video is about. So let's just get out of here with some lips. I use my color, um, my cover all by um, Wet n Wild. And I just blot out the color here because we want an empty canvas. I don't want any of my natural lip colors coming through. Okay, all righty, then I'm gonna take my Jordana lip liner and this is in Rock and Rose and I, so pretty much I'm using all Jordana, Wet n Wild, really drugstore, contour um, conceal palettes, like I said, there's that little eye up there that you can click on. Um, very, un, um, very inexpensive makeup I always use and I love it. I love the look that I get, so I'm gonna do a quick line. I'm not going to overdraw, just a little bit on the top. Okay. I like that. And then I'm going to go in with, oh, Wet n Wild. Why you do this to me? Pink Sugar by Wet n Wild. And this is my new obsession color. It's all kind of dirty, but ooh. You know, these colors are $2.49 at the drugstore. They are amazing. I mean, Wet n Wild. <laughs> I love Wet n Wild. These lipsticks, I just pat them on. I'm not gonna do a heavy cover. I did no eyeliner and this is the look. So I'm gonna take my hair out. Probably gonna do it, pull it up a little bit because I just got out of the shower. But yeah. So I went from totally nothing to like a really basic everyday. You can go to the grocery store in this. You can go anywhere and it's going to stay. If you want to put a setting spray on it, it's going to stay for a few more hours. NYX has a great inexpensive setting powder for like $6.99. And this is a really natural look, I think, that I hope you guys like and uh, enjoy. So I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Bye.